Hey guys, what's happening? So behind me is some of you will recognize that have been early subscribers on my channel. This was my first like proper decent DIY e-bike conversion running the 2000 watt. Actually it was running more on that, wasn't it? Cause it had the phase runner on it. It was running at least two and a half thousand watts, 52 volts with the grim phase runner on it. This bike's been through a lot. Um, those of you who've been following the channel, it's started off life as obviously a normal Orange ST4, which I bought. Turned out that the uh, rear shock was absolutely buggered, so I ended up having to completely redo the whole suspension, much to the annoyance of uh, how much it cost me. It was one of those moments where it was cost more than what the bike was worth. I, like, I spent about £700 replacing the rear suspension with a Cane Creek rear shock, all new bushes. Like, it's all been fully done. Pretty much got it almost fully sorted, and then some of you that follow my channel know um, about a year ago I got burgled, the bike got stolen, I went on a massive spree hunting down the people that stole it, got it back, but it had some damage, the wheel was puckled, the paint was chipped, there was things wrong with it, so I just lost all enthusiasm for it if I'm honest, you know, and then I got it up and running and the uh, phase runner completely melted and burnt out, I'll show you it. Yeah, so that's the, um, that's the outcome, I don't know why that happened. This is the Grin Phase Runner, which was running absolutely fine on it. It's now melted. Grin have now given up the rights for um, Andy Kirby to be a reseller. They've got really funny about everything. This was knackered. They sent a replacement to that, but this base runner, which doesn't throw out as many amps. I like the fact that it's a small form factor, but they've sent me the older model and they've got a much better model. It doesn't even look brand new. The plugs in it are massive and they're completely wrong for what you know what the other what the other phase runner had on it so it's just turned into a massive i can't be bothered to be honest i am gonna do the complete opposite today of what i'd normally do to an e-bike i would normally convert a standard mountain bike to an e-bike obviously as a lot of you know today we're going to be reverse <laughs> modifying an e-bike back into a normal mountain bike i'm actually really curious what this bike's like now with all the um you know with the suspension being rebuilt and everything I actually think this will be a decent bike, not electric. So out of pure curiosity and the fact that like I've got issues with the controller and everything else, I'm going to turn this for now back into a normal mountain bike. I'm going to be removing the wheel and everything today. And the thing is also with this bike, the dropouts are a nightmare on it. They're so tight that I have to, um, I have to use a ratchet strap to my house and to a concrete fence post just to pull the dropouts apart enough to get the back wheel off, which when you get a, a punter, it's an absolute nightmare. So I'm gonna be breaking this bike down, turn it back to a normal bike. The 52 volt battery off of it, I'm gonna put onto the chopper build that I'm currently doing. The back motor wheel can be used for another project alongside this, um, this base runner from Grin that I've been sent. I don't really wanna fit it to this bike. So yeah, I'm gonna be reverse modifying an e-bike back into a mountain bike today. So here's a bike in its current state. The battery was removed because that stopped working the other day, but it was just a case of pulling the plug out of the BMS and plugging that back in again. Battery's all working. The motor wheel, that's gonna have to come off. I need to find the original wheel in my shed. Suspension on it. Cane Creek, IL Air, rear shock, all new bushings in the rear suspension. So that's all lovely. So I'm just gonna be removing the throttle. This horrible, ugly on-off switch, get rid of that, that's gonna be gone. All the wiring for the hall, hall sensors and stuff for the phase runner, that's all coming off. Gonna remove this, gonna keep hold of this because that was pretty cool. I made a little uh, battery support for a full suspension frame triangle. It shouldn't be too difficult to turn this back into a normal mountain bike. And I'm, I'm very curious because when I first got it, the rear shock was absolutely rubbish and it was like riding a circus bike it was just boinging up and down all over the place and i've never ridden it as a normal bike with suspension that actually works so yeah let's get let's get on it this has got to be the most satisfying bit right here finally got the wheel out of the dropouts can you see like the difference of how much that sticks out and how much that has to be stretched both sides for that axle to fit in it's probably just not right for this bike i mean it worked but anyway the most satisfying bit of this is reverse cutting off all the cable ties. I'm literally going to enjoy this bit so much it's kind of satisfying just to remove everything that I don't no longer need. I'm taking it back to the basics guys. Oh yes. 
that's oddly satisfying. Last two, and the hub wheel is free to go on to another project. And the orange is going to live its new life back as a normal motorbike. So, hey, it's ready to come out. Bye bye, hub wheel. And welcome back to the original wheel that come on this bike. No idea if that's a decent brand of Mavic, something or other rim. Got a Hope hub on it, so yeah, still got the same amount of uh, gears on the cassette or free wheel. So that should, I shouldn't say this, but it should be a fairly straightforward swap. That off, build that up. Still got some rim tape on there as well. Happy days. So I'm going to now break this down. That is almost, I think that was a brand new swarble knobby nick that I've put on quite recently. I'm going to bust that tyre and tube off of this. This old wheel's going to go back in the workshop for going on another bike project at some point. But yeah, I'm actually really excited to turn this back into a normal bike to be fair. All right, are you ready for the reveal then, guys? And here it is. Hub wheels off, got the original back wheel on. I had to do a few little bits like remove some washers from the uh, brake caliper because it was set up differently for the massive electric motor. There's probably still a few bits I need to do um, for all intents and purposes today. It literally looks like it's gonna rain so much. That is all I'm gonna do to it today. Um, I'm just I'm just blown away by how good looking this bike was. I forgot how good looking it is, how light it is. Yeah, I'm just blown away by how good looking this bike is, how light it is. I just want a bike that I can throw on a trail. I think the way the things happen with this bike, and I lost my passion for it a little bit because of the burglary and getting it back again, and it's got a few little scratches on it and things, and then the electronics I had some problems with. I just want a nice, raw, simple, full suspension mountain bike to get out. And mess around with alongside my e-bikes i just wanted a normal um you know a normal pedal powered bike so i don't know if anyone else out there has actually done this turned a previously e-bike into a mountain bike obviously it's been done a million times turning a normal mountain bike into a e-bike but how many people out there have like been fuck it i'm going to turn the electric bike back into a normal bike most people will think that is a really weird thing to do Personally, for myself, for this bike, it just made the most sense. I can throw this bike up onto my car roof rack so easily now. I mean, it can't weigh much more than 10 kilograms, this bike, I guess. It really is light. Fitness-wise, you know, as much as I love my electric bikes and I'm building an electric summer cruise, I want something that I can actually get my fitness levels up on when I'm out having fun. Yeah, just sometimes simple is the better. And I don't know if there's many of you out there that agree with me. Let me know in the comments. But I can't wait to get this. It's such a good looking bike, isn't it? I really think it is. I can't wait to get this back up and running. You know, I just need to go over it, check the gears. A couple of things need setting up on it. Might get a decent cycle computer and some accessories to get out on the trails. But yeah, like, <laughs> I'm actually really happy with it and I'm, I'm looking forward to getting out and doing some normal mountain biking. It is 12 years old, but yeah, I still think it's a very capable machine, much more so than I am as a rider. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in a video soon.